So how now to import all the activity resources by one click? It's really tough to do it by one click. How do you think it could be done? To how much time it will save you? First, let's see how can we add resources. Shall we go to each and every activity and then add a resource? This will take a lot of time especially if it's a big project. And this project won't take this much, but in a big project to go to each activity and add resources, it will definitely take time. For example, this one again, we're going to add resources and we're going to have to check the Excel file. We will see the boring planning concrete, it's 3984, and you have to go back and add the three, uh, that takes a lot of time. So instead, we can make it automated and much easier. As you see also, one more thing, the milestone, you cannot add resources. It's a milestone, just shows an event. So how to make it automated? Now we have at least one activity, which is resource loaded. Then you are going to use the power of export and import, and then the power of Excel. So first you'll go to export, then you'll choose spreadsheet XLS, you choose not resources, you need the resource assignments, then you choose the error project. Here that these are the templates, I have already an old template, let's see what's, what it contains. It actually contains each and everything that you require on the resources. Source ID, budgeted units, we need this one. But let's export all. Make sure that there is no filter. As you see here, now there is a filter. Okay, non labor. This filter, this is what we need, but we only have one activity. So, okay, here it goes. We would keep this one in the desktop. Then here's it. We would keep it here. We would name it resources. Open. It's ready. It won't take much time. Blah. It's ready now. So let's go, here it comes, the resources file, you have one, actually you don't need all of this, you just need this, this, and this, the rest, even this, ast this asterisk or this star, whatever, this means that you don't need this and you cannot change it, so you can actually delete all of this. I'm going to delete it. You need this, this as well. Delete it. Remaining, no need. Budgeted is enough. You can delete all. So it would be only three columns. That would make it easier as well. So what you need, the activity ID for the new and the budgeted units. So how to make such thing? We already have this file. We will move it, move this file, create a copy, and we would move it to the resources. We'll move it here. Okay, in such case, we would take this copy, then we would go to the resources and paste. So now we would use the power of Excel. First of all, if you want to take these into here, this one has no space before. So in order to do so, here's the trick. This one would be trim and remove all. So it would be trim choose the text, choose B1, 
and take it all and now you have it ready paste done you can also filter you don't need the WBS here so filter remove the planks filter using the planks this will filter only WBS no need for them now anymore remove them and another thing now because it's ready you have the miles so you can filter another filter you don't want to add resources to miles mile and you these milestones are zero congrats it's removed now clear you do you then can take this copy and paste here make sure it has this before so you format painter and here's this it has the same you need the exact same copy make sure it is yeah see it's reading 28 make it copy cells the budgeted units you would take the same exactly what's shown here the same order and here it goes but this one is repeated so remove it. now make sure this one let's say convert to number make sure it's the same three three one three three two seven so something is missing here why it's shown less so in shots case should go back to here and investigate why this one is less than this one shots case how many activities are here you would take these activities again back to your resources file first of all these are three two seven nine eight seven these are right while well, these are wrong no these are right as well so but it's not as per the poq which is three three one so what should we do in this case first let's check that you have taken things right and we are going to add this i'm going to add this to this all oh, it's three two seven nine eight seven so the problem is not in this file the problem is from this file the distribution is missing something so in order to make this distribution right this is a different case you should check with the resource of course control department and everything and make sure it's right but for the sake of this example we would assume for now that it is 327 only and to learn how to import so now first save and please before importing re remove anything that you have added before because the p6 is a very delicate file and also make sure as much as possible to export the project and keep a copy because it might if something went wrong so kb copy we would name it too now we have your copy ready and then we will import our resources and monitor against it just waiting for the uh, export to be ready let's check our file and the export is done so now file import our file that we have just prepared spreadsheet and let's go to the our file which is this stuff again it's in my fair course here it is valid file name so let's close this file for any reason let's see how this works here it is source assignments important to check it's only one project finish done now you have re your resources by one click see how beautiful it is and this is what's straight three two seven nine eight seven it's beautiful congratulations you have everything ready now so wow that's perfect you have 
uploaded all the resources within minutes. If you use one by one, it would take a lot and enormous amount of time. Now, congrats, you have it ready.